Hello Scorpio, this is your general love reading. And it looks like you're having some struggles. Let's see, we have the Eight of Swords here, so that's not a very fun card to get in a love reading. You may feel stuck about a certain situation, confused. Uh, what's holding you back from being happy in a relationship is what I'm getting. Something's holding you back. Uh, you could have gotten mixed signals from this person that you were in a relationship with. Maybe the two of you didn't communicate clearly. Maybe it was more about passion rather than communicating. Okay, so somebody lied in this situation and that definitely confused you because you thought something was on track. So now you have a decision to make. Okay, the Emperor. So the Emperor is about somebody who has a plan and they want things to go according to that plan. They, whether it's love or business, they, they make that plan, they go after what they want. And it could have been that you, you did this. It was like you had the perfect plan, you had the perfect person, and now everything's gone to shit. So, it's, it's like this life-altering decision uh, that you're in, but you have to get into the right headspace before you can move forward. Uh, I do have the lovers here, so it could be that you have a new... You have a new love relationship coming in, but it's not going to happen until you break ties with this other person. Uh, yeah, you're not going to, you're not going to, if you get back with that person, that's fine. Then that could, that could also represent this lover's card. But if you don't, you need to cut ties completely for a new love connection to come into your life. And then you have the three of wands, which is about really knowing what you want, knowing what a healthy relationship looks like, uh, and just getting really clear and comfortable with what you want and not just pursuing somebody because of the way they look. I'm not saying you did that, but it's just an example. Um, you know, we can become really enamored with somebody because of because they're very charming or because they're very good in bed and but that may not lead to the long-term situation that you're really looking for so get clear get comfortable with what you want and that way this plan and this vision that you had can actually come to fruition I think that's that's what, um, I think those tie together very well. We have the Knight of Pentacles also. So the Pentacles is a really slow moving kind of energy. And it's about being very patient. It's also a, a sign of loyalty. So this new person coming in could be a very loyal person. But they're not going to come in at a rapid pace. They're going to come in... Uh, and they're going to show you the, the night, the pentacles is about putting in the effort and showing up the way that they think that you should show up and the way that, the way that they show up is going to reflect on what they want in a relationship. So, um, the, you know, they have a more of a solid moral compass than some of the other people maybe that you've been in relationship with. So just accept this let the let the past go and i think that the loyalty and the patience will pay off in the end with this new person for you